In this lesson, we are going to explore how to create model views in the drawing environment. Now on my screen, you will see I am still in the part environment. In fact, I have a part open called the angle bracket. Now if you would like to work along with me, you can find this part file in your working files folder. So let's begin. We'll start by going into the drawing environment. I will select new, drawing, and OK. And as soon as I do this, the dialog box for the sheet format appears. I'll scroll down the list, and I am going to select an A3 ANC landscape format. Notice the preview, notice the size, I'll then select OK. Now once I select OK, notice we see the sheet format on the screen. And on the left hand side of the screen, the property manager for model view displays. In fact, in the top of the property manager, we have a message prompting us to select a part or assembly for which to create the first view. Any parts or assemblies you currently have open in your SolidWorks software will be displayed in the Open Documents window. Now, if this is not the part or assembly that you want to create the drawing for, you can simply browse to the proper location on your network. I do want to create a drawing for the angle bracket. So I am simply going to go up to the Next button, which will take me to the second screen for the Model View Property Manager. I receive another message. Please select a name view from the list below and place the view. At this time, the isometric is highlighted. I want to select the front view. That's going to be my first view. So I'm going to go out to the graphics area and then left mouse click to place the front view. Now, as soon as I place the front view, if you look back at the property manager, notice the title for the property manager now says projected view. Now, what does that mean? That means if I move my cursor to the right, it projects a right hand side view. If I move my cursor above the front view, it projects a top view. And the same is true for an isometric view. I can also do a bottom view, left hand side view, and additional isometric views. Now once I'm done creating my views, I simply go to the property manager and select the green check mark. Now one thing to note, this is probably not the best front view for this part. Can we change that? The answer is yes. You simply select the front view, and then you select the view that you want to be the front view under orientation. And this right hand side view looks like a good front view. So I am going to select the right hand side view. I receive a message. Dependent drawing views will be affected. Do you still want to make the drawing view change? And the answer is yes. Notice it updates all of my views. Front, top, right, and the isometric. I can drag the front view and the two other principal views move with it. The front view is the parent view. However, I can also drag the right hand side view to be closer or further away from the front view. And the same is true for the top view and the isometric view. Now before we leave this sheet, I do want to show you that if we select a view, for example the isometric view, we do have the options to change the display to shaded with edges. We also have the option to change the scale. And this is actually true of all of the views that you see in the sheet. Instead of using the parent scale, I can use a sheet scale or a custom scale. So if I say custom scale, select a scale of one to four, and you will see the isometric changes in size. In fact, it gets smaller. And I'll select OK. Let's go ahead and clear these four views. Now let's take a look at another way to place views on a drawing sheet. I'm going to go to the View Layout tab, select Model View, I'm back to the same property manager. I do want to create another drawing for the angle bracket, so I'm going to select the Next button. This time, instead of selecting one view, the front view, I am going to select Create Multiple Views. This allows me to select multiple views from this little graphic here and then select OK. Once again, my front view is not the best view, so I'd want to go back and select a better front view, update the principal views, and then close out of the property manager. 
One last method for adding views to a drawing sheet is done through the view palette. On the right hand side of the screen, notice we have a view palette button. So if I select it, I currently don't see any views here, and that's because I need to select the drop down and select angle bracket, and now my views appear. So I'm going to grab the right view, and then notice it automatically takes you into the projected view mode. So that is another way of placing views on a drawing sheet. You need to find what works best for you and what is most efficient. So now we're ready to move on and talk about the standard three views.